Hi everyone, let's take today's session for Q&A so that I can clarify many of your doubts which are being asked in my channel more often. So without wasting your time, let's start the first one. I am working in piping design for 5 years but still could not understand the piping design concept. Please help me to understand my mistake. Okay, my response is when I had an interaction with him, this is what I understand from him. He is a candidate who seriously follows the instruction of his boss without even questioning them. So this is one of the blunder. You have to follow them, but it doesn't mean that you can stop questioning them. You have to ask as many questions as possible to clarify your doubts because it's really mandatory to improve yourself so that you can deliver a quality output. If you are always dependent on your seniors, then uh, the seniors will get fed up of spoon feeding you and they may throw you out of the job. So it's really important for you to improve yourself for that you have to ask as many questions as possible. So now let's move on to the point number two. The future of piping design career. What is the future of piping design in, uh, career? See now we have a fear that because of the soaring oil and gas market, we believe that this piping design engineering career is going to decline. But my word is that piping design engineering is not only dependent on oil and gas. There are various other sectors like power plants, pharmaceutical sectors, petrochemical, which has thousands of byproducts which we are using in daily basis and beverages and FMCG sectors and water treatments. There are n number of other plants which are also using the piping design. Piping design is not only about the oil and gas. There were times that no oil and gas piping engineers were taken in lump sum basis without even qualifying the uh, understanding, I mean uh, setting the criteria for the qualification. But now the skilled piping engineers gets the job, gets a good job with good salary in a top MNCs. So there is no question about uh, what will be the future of piping design engineer because it is going to have a future for a long term until there is a requirement for industries because industries cannot survive without piping design engineering because these are utilities that are uh, helpful for industrial operations. So with that, let me give you a confidence that don't worry about the piping uh, design future. You have a long term future. Now let's go to the point number uh, three. I mean question number three. What is the salary expectation that I can have for 10 years experienced in Gulf? Uh, my straight answer would be it varies between uh, 3 lakhs to 4 lakhs about the type of the company that goes. Uh, if you are going to join in a client based company, then you would get nearly around 4 lakhs. But if you are into an engineering company, you would you may get somewhere around uh, 3 lakhs. So this is the average uh, salary structure. And for small scale companies, it depends actually upon, about the role and about the necessity of a particular skills. So roughly you can uh, imagine about 3 lakhs to 4 lakhs uh, for 10 years experience. Now let's go to the fourth one. <coughs> Uh, suggest me the best institute for piping design engineering. So my advice, I, even I have told in many of my previous videos, I will not advise any piping design institute because the experience with institutes varies with candidate to candidate. The bright candidate goes to an institute, feels that he was taught less. And a, and a uh, less potential candidate goes to an interview and feels that he was taught more. So it's not about the best institute, but when we say uh, the best institute, your mind is saying that you are believing on the institute. So I don't want you to believe on the institute. I want you to believe on yourself and believe on your skills so that you will improve your skills. If you believe on some institutes and the institutes don't give any jobs, then you will come out of this field and you will fed up and you will stop learning. Don't do that mistakes. Don't waste your time by running around to find out best institute. Try to understand what you have to learn. I have made uh, a couple of videos for piping uh, uh, design learning requirements. Go and check my videos. Other else I will give the link of those videos in the description. So that will help you to understand what you have to learn. Find an institute where, uh, where you can learn uh, these skills. This is what is important actually. So it is not important to have the best institutes. Understand? Now let us go to the uh, fifth one. Suggest me the type of piping design course for freshers or beginners. Okay. See, uh, I would strongly suggest the freshers and beginners to go for 
one on one uh, design course uh, course i would say see one on one design course in the sense like you have to have a tutor you have to have an um, uh, instructor where you can learn on a daily basis like uh, day scholars to colleges you have to have an, a direct interaction with the tutor don't go for any pre recorded video session for freshers and beginners so if you are a fresher then my strong advice is that take a piping design course with one on one session so don't go for pre recorded video session where you don't see a uh, tutor uh, where you can only see the videos with the pre recorded voice i want a live session uh, live uh, courses because in live courses you can learn many things you can ask um, a thousand number of uh, questions uh, because you are fresher you have lot of doubts actually you are just trying to learn don't go for pre recorded pre recorded videos are for those who have at least some basic knowledge about a particular field okay so this is my advice now let's go to the sixth point suggest me the best piping software for beginners see there is no such thing called beginners and experience in piping design uh, the latest softwares are used by all top companies so that is where the opportunity goes so being a beginner or being a experience you have to learn these softwares so couple of softwares i can name e, uh, e3d is one of the latest software that are booming in the market and sp3d and this is another uh, software which is already has a lot of immense market in the uh, industries and you can choose a pds and pdms but currently e3d and sp3d are booming actually and uh, these are 3d softwares so <clears throat> if you want to learn the 2d also you can either go for um, autocad uh, 2d i think autocad 2d is ma basic that you can learn very easily and i would uh, strongly su suggest one of the other software which is a cad box which has a 2d and as well as 3d features also so try to learn these softwares and this would help you to um, what do you call reach out to many opportunities e3d sp3d cad box and autocad 2d okay so now let's go to the next question uh, the next question is what are comes under the piping basics i mean what are the subjects that comes under piping basics because this is basically the question from a freshers and the beginners i understand this is little um, uh, i mean uh, uh, hard to understand uh, what are known as piping basics because freshers would find uh, this subjects too uh, vague so let me just list down it actually being a fresher being a uh, beginner you have to understand pnid for that you have to know the pnid symbols the first thing and second important thing you have you have to know the pipe fittings and details and symbols and third important thing you should know the basic piping layout and the piping design concepts and third fourth important thing you should know about the piping isometric preparations and fifth is about piping routing so these are the basics that you have to learn for a beginner <clears throat> because if you understand these basics then you, it is easy for you to get into the job and to uh, start the job without knowing the basic it's really hard for you to understand the engineering itself so <clears throat> please try to learn uh, these basics that will help you to uh, get into the job faster now let's go to the eighth question <clears throat> what are the growths in piping design field uh, the growth i would say in any technical engineering sector the growths are based on hierarchy in piping the hierarchy is going to be like this you will be joining as a junior engineer and then you will be um, promoted for uh, engineering role then you will be promoted for senior engineer then principal senior engineer and then lead engineer then you will become a hod this hierarchy varies from organization to organization but uh, ideally this hierarchy remains almost the same in most of the organization but the one advantage in piping design is that you can either go into a technical side or you can go into a management side so the hierarchy that i have said is about the technical side your growth into technical side but at the same time if you wanted to go into grow into the management side once you become a piping a senior piping engineer you can become a project manager you can become a project engineer where you understand you have the ability of understanding of construction other fields also so you have two different opportunities so if you grow technically there is um, i mean the uh, there is certain level you can beyond which you cannot grow the, the top level is hod level so beyond hod level you cannot grow but if you choose the management level after certain years 
you can grow to a uh, different uh, level because in management levels it's all about about the size of the project that you are dealing actually so if you are capable to uh, lead one billion uh, project then you'll become a I mean, you'll be paid so and your positions will be in that way. And if you are able to, uh, um, I mean, manage uh, 10 billion, then 10 billion projects, I mean, the capacity of the project will be 10 billion. So then you'll be uh, paid in uh, that level. But uh, in technical growth, there is a limitation. But in non-technical growth, there is no limitations. But both needs a strong engineering knowledge. So don't just think that from the beginning, you can start it. Actually, you have to have a strong technical background in order to uh, survive in these two fields okay so these are the eight questions that i wanted to clarify actually so i hope that this video uh, will be helpful for you to uh, focus on your career uh, enhancement in piping design engineering i will meet you in another fantastic video until then bye from subhash chandran thank you so much